Hello, art students. Mr. Hustler here. At this point, we've made our salt dough. You've seen examples of animals that can be made from salt dough. And now it's time for us to go for it. And honestly, this first project, uh, after we make this dough, it's, it's a lot just for fun. I just want to see the process. I want you to get used to the process of how do you make salt dough? What do you do with it? What are some of its capabilities? In our second project after this one, what we're going to do is we're going to add to it going to make it a little bit more technical, but this first one, just have fun. So what kind of an animal do you want to do? Do you want it to be mythic? You know, something stories are made of. Do you want to make something up? Do you have a favorite animal or maybe an animal that you think this has attributes that you've got too, like wise as an owl? You saw the owl example. Cunning as a fox. Whatever it might be, now's your chance. So what do you want to do? Um, well, sometimes what people do is they they take a look at their medium, what they use to make art, and they try to imagine something inside it. If I have this blob, what do I see? A fun way to go? You might just squish it a little bit and say, okay, now what do I see in this? Hmm. Going for something skull-like. Do I have maybe a, a head starting to emerge from here? If I just do some pinching, I can start to bring this out a little bit. So some have a form and they look in it and they try to imagine it. That's what Michelangelo would do. Some would say he would actually look at a marble, like a, a huge block of marble for two weeks before he actually carved it because he wanted to imagine what exactly he wanted to do has a good plan. I'm not saying do that by any means, but that could be a way to go. Try to imagine something within it. Other people will do addition. They'll add different pieces to it or a subtraction. They'll carve away. With salto, when this is still nice and malleable, some would even say plastic. It used to be a descriptive term for how malleable it was. And then we can just kind of stretch. See, I'm going for wings. My family has um, chickens. We've got a bunch of Easter egg or chickens. We've got a few other kinds too, but we got a bunch of Easter egg or chicks right about when this pandemic happened. So we've been watching them grow. It's been really fun for a whole family. So I've got birds on my mind. I'm going to continue to kind of stretch and pull this out. I'm not going too fast. I suppose I could add a little bit of water if it starts to crack. So this back is starting to crack. I've got a little bit of water left for mixing the dough. I'm just going to dunk my finger in that and just add a little bit on top. So this is just a finger dip and this will smooth it out nicely. Not only will this make it look a little bit better, but it'll make it, it'll keep its strength, it'll make it stronger. So I hear the wings. I don't know if I'm gonna go for a chicken in particular. I'm just going for a bird that's flying. I know those wings are gonna be a little bit thicker as it gets to the body. I know that there are a couple of sections of the wing where the feathers are a little bit longer and then they kind of angle, angle out. So I'm gonna go for some of those. Now individually, I don't, I don't know if this clay could take it if I make those individual fingers of of feathers. So I'm just going to go for something a little bit more knobby. I'm going to leave a uh, space for the feet maybe tucked under and then I'm going to go for the tail fin. This can be the tail. See it's starting to come together? I'm having fun. Oh, you could have a lot of fun by making a video of yourself doing this too. <laughs> you really want. What do you say when you're on camera? Here I go, my basic bird. Um, at this point, a good way to go would be to look up some pictures. I have an idea of what I want to do, but this is like a cartoon sculpture so far, which can be fun. However, there needs to be a little bit of a biological connection. So I've got my basic bird here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go online. I mentioned a website called Shutterstock. It's free. And I'm going to type in different birds and see, I'm going to look for some details like how, what exactly does a beak look like? You know, I know birds of prey, they go down a little bit. Do I want to go for an eagle? What about the pattern of, of feathers on the back? And how are the neck feathers different from the wingtips? Those are specific things I'm going to look for in pictures I look up online. We call those source pictures when they're pictures that we look up to help us give a better idea of what to go for. There should be a little bit of texture on yours, your sculptures, so that's what comes next.
Thank you for watching.